now we will see how cell wall lignification happens cell wall lignification is a process of combining each monomer units into a complex heteropolymer it varies between primary and secondary cell walls and among tissues the secondary cell wall layer of plant usually consists of three sublayers the percentage of lignin in the primary wall and in the s1 layer of secondary wall is much higher compared to s2 and s3 layers Some of the studies have reported higher amount of lignin in mature internodes compared to young ones. And how do we calculate the amount of lignin in different plant tissues? So there are different methods to quantify lignin content in biomass like acetyl bromide method, Claisen lignin method, etc. Mostly the combination of H and G units starts at the onset of lignification, while only a few S units are detected during early stages of a lignin deposition. Subsequently, coniferyl alcohol and sinapyl alcohol are incorporated to form a mix of G and S units during secondary wall formation. The ratio of S and G subunits in lignin also predicts the degree and nature of polymeric crosslinking. G-rich tissues have a highly crosslinked lignin containing a greater proportion of biphenyl and others carbon-carbon bonds. whereas s rich lignin is less condensed linked through more labile ether bonds at the four hydroxyl position hence s rich lignin can be easily depolymerized compared to lignin rich in g units monolignols are incorporated to produce the biopolymer lignin by the process of nwise polymerization the oxidized monolignol radicals crosslink with the radicals formed on the free phenolic end of a growing lignin polymer The major interunit linkages of lignin monomers are shown in the diagram.